In this tutorial in CyberLink ProDirector, I'd like to show you some basics for using a new tool called the AI Sticker Creation Tool. It was released for subscribers of PowerDirector 365 in June of 2023. And so if stickers are something you're interested in, let me show you a bit about the basics of this tool. To get to it, we need to go into our PIP Objects room and I can click on the icon or press the F5 function key. When I click on that in the PIP objects at the very top, I have this new one called AI Sticker Maker Beta. So apparently they're going to develop more features in it. Let's see what the beta can do. To, to activate the tool, I simply click on that and it opens up this box, which is not resizable. And it tells me the first thing I need to do is to define the characteristics I want for the sticker. My guess is it's going to go to a massive online database and try to match whatever I type in with several objects. It says input description. And so let me just, for example, let me type in tennis player. And now I'm going to click on the word next in the blue box. The second is to click a style. I can have no style, a 3D style, watercolor, pop art, hand-drawn, or realistic. Let me choose realistic, see what happens there. Then I'm going to click on next. Now it says generate stickers. Now you notice above the generate stickers, it says sticker generation times remaining, and my count right now is at three. I started using this and the maximum you can do per day is four. So you can do as many as you want up to four per day. I'm not sure why they put the limit on it, but that's what you can do. So I'm going to click here to generate stickers. And it will go ahead and create some possibilities for me. It takes not too long, at least for my internet connection. And here are my stickers. It says I can do this one, or this one, or this one, or this one. Now I can regenerate stickers. Let me see if that cuts me down from two times left to one time left. Yes, it does. So now, even though I haven't found a sticker I like, I'm only going to have one more time today to generate a sticker. And you notice it creates completely different ones. It gave me that, which is kind of odd, and this one, and then we have this one here, and this one here. So the, the match for what I see is a little bit mystifying. So I'm going to click on this, this here, and then I'm going to click on the download. And it's going to download the sticker. It will process that and it says download complete. You can find it in the download category. I'm going to click on OK. So I'm going to close my window and let's see what we have. I, it also imported it into the media room, I'm told. That's a good thing. So I have this sticker. Here's one I did earlier. Here is this one that I have here and I can take this sticker and I can pull it down and use it in my project. So there's my sticker. And I can take it, I can resize it. I can move it, I can do anything I want to with it like any other sticker that I would ever use. I want to look, go back into my content here in my PIP room. If I click on Downloaded, it's now in the Downloaded section. But if I go back, here to my media room. You notice it's here as well as the one that I did before I recorded this session. If I right click on it and click on properties, if I look at file location, it's going to tell me where it stores it. It gives me the format, the file size, the day it's created, other essential information. and you can use these stickers and experiment with them and see if they will augment your production in any way that you find useful. It'll be interesting to see how this tool develops. This is what it looks like at first glance.